you don't know how to unlock your iPhone or iPad without password, you may face any emergency. It may happen in various situations. For example, if you change the password too frequently, you may forget the iPhone password later. Your spouse may change your password without notifying you. Your naughty child accidentally locks your iPhone. If you enter the wrong password 10 times, you will receive a message iPhone is disabled. Please connect to iTunes. In this case, the only way to unlock the disabled iPhone is to restore it. None of us want to fall into this situation, right? Therefore, I will introduce four ways, including two methods that do not require a computer and two methods that require a computer. I hope you can patiently see the fourth one, the safest and fastest method without any requirements and restrictions. This method is very simple, but it also has limitations. First, you should enter the wrong passcode multiple times until your device shows iPhone unavailable. After that, the Erase iPhone button will appear below. You need to click on the button and the device will prompt you to reset the iPhone and erase all data. This requires entering your Apple ID password and then click Done to erase your iPhone. You just need to set it up again. Of course, this method only applies if you still remember your Apple ID password. It should be noted that this method is only applicable to users who meet the following three conditions. 1. The iPhone is updated to iOS 15.2 or later. 2. The iPhone is connected to a Wi-Fi or cellular network. 3. The iPhone has assigned an Apple ID account. You can use Find My to unlock your iPhone. When using this method, please make sure you have two iOS devices. At the same time, your locked iPhone has entered your Apple ID and turned on the Find My iPhone function. On another iPhone that you have, open the Find My iPhone app. Once you have logged in, you will be able to see all of your Apple devices using the same iCloud account. Tap on your disabled iPhone in the list. Tap on the last one that says Erase iPhone. Your disabled iPhone will be erased, and it will remove the passcode from your device as well. Then you can set up the device from scratch and tap on Restore from iCloud Backup to restore an iCloud Backup on your device. Of course, this method is only applicable to users who remember their iCloud account. This method requires you to have a Mac or PC with iTunes installed. Use a USB data cable to connect the two devices and press and hold the volume button and power button at the same time to put the iPhone into recovery mode. Then you need to launch Finder or iTunes on your computer, find your iPhone and iTunes or Finder and click on it, it will prompt you to select one of the options on the screen. Select the recovery option to restore your device, wait for a while and your iPhone will be restored to factory settings as a new device. Any Unlock is a powerful software that can help you open your device without a password. It supports all iPhone models from iPhone 6 to latest iPhone 16 and iOS 18, and all iPad models. Any Unlock is easy to use and can bypass the lock screen in just a few simple steps. It can also be used to reset your device to factory settings. In this video, we will learn about this important tool for iPhone lock screen removal. Step 1. Free download any unlock on your computer and launch it. Click unlock screen passcode from the main interface. Tap 2. Connect your iPhone to the computer with the USB cable, tap the start button. Tap 3. Select download path and click on the download button. Tap 4. After the firmware is downloaded, click Unlock Now option. Then any unlock will unlock your device automatically. Please do not disconnect your device until it restarts. Step 5. When the recovery process is completed, you will see the screen passcode removed successfully interface as below. Next, you can get into your iPhone. Any Unlock is designed to be a complete iOS unlock toolkit, which allows you to get into a locked iPhone if you forget your iPhone passcode. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and tutorials. See you next time.